Hi, you're listening to Everyday Superpower, a place where you can take some time to learn to understand body language and nonverbal communication. A place where you can really take some time just to understand how easy it is to read the minds of others purely through reading and understanding gestures and particular behaviours that individual may have uh, expressed through the body. Alright, controlled by the subconscious mind. If you want to continue listening and you want to, uh, you know, follow me on these lessons, please click like, click subscribe, and feel free to leave a comment. Now, without further ado, let's get on to the lesson. We're going to be talking about the jutting of the tongue today. So, not necessarily the stung, uh, <laughs> the stung, not necessarily the tongue sticking out to its fullest, but just a little jut of the tongue, just a little peak of the tongue sticking out. All right, so. By default, you may consider it a little bit cheeky, because it is. All right, so the tongue is forced out of the mouth, and it's uh, just used when people feel like they've gotten away from something or have been caught doing something they shouldn't have, all right? So this is a subconscious behavior, all right? It can be used consciously to seem a bit cheeky and whatnot, but it states, I've gotten away with this, okay? Or I'm making a bit of a cheeky statement. Okay, it can be used if somebody's made a mistake or if somebody's actually trying to do you over. So if somebody's trying to deceive you and feel that they have fooled you, you'll see this behavior. So it's worthwhile checking out and ensuring that, you know, you're reading it right. As somebody who's just been a little bit cheeky and a little bit, you know, I've been cracking a few jokes, you'll be able to see this in their behavior. And generally speaking, you'll be able to assess this uh, tongue gesture as you know, just significant of the joke. But if this comes out in a bit of a, uh, what would be considered a bit more of a random context, you'll have to consider what it really means, all right? So the tongue through the lips and the teeth can happen at any place, yeah? But it signals the same thing. It signals that the person is doing something that is pushing the envelope of acceptability, all right? Now, this behavior may possibly stem from our evolutionary rejection of food when we're children, okay? So our tongue sticking out showed distaste. That's something to consider. Um, But in particular, what you want to do is apply this to your communications with another individual. And if you see this behavior happen, they may potentially feel that what they've said is in distaste or what they have done to you so uh, misleading you or cheating you out of something or so on and so forth they may be sticking their tongue out symbolically to uh, ridicule you in a way okay Uh, showing that you are the butt of the joke all right so you have to consider is this person self-reflecting on something they've said or have they let loose of something they may not have wanted to say and now they're having a bit of a you know a bit of a cheeky reaction to it or have they uh do they consider the fact that they fooled you, all right? So this is the magic of being able to understand the nonverbal side of things purely is this person doesn't think you're aware of what's really going on, but you'll be able to identify it through reading gestures such as this. So that's it. We're going to keep this one nice and short and simple. Uh, keep an eye out for this one. It's not as common as some gestures, but you will see it from time to time, all right? I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't mistake it for those who stick their tongue out to uh, focus and concentrate because some people have a habit of leaving their tongue out when they're uh, at work or trying to think hard about something in particular, all right? And without further ado, I'm off. So leave a like, click subscribe, leave a comment, whatever you're thinking, let us know. Cheers, bye.